Hi and welcome to Belgian diacast restorations. I'm Johan and this week we have another classic majorette model on the turntable. This Jeep Cherokee ambulance was donated to me by a good friend who gave me a whole box of cars for my birthday last summer. Majorette made a few Jeep Cherokee models including a station wagon, a monster truck and this very nice ambulance. The ambulance was issued between 1980 and 1990 and makes this the most recent model on my channel yet. In its 10 year run it went through a couple of changes, mainly in delivery and made the transition to production in Thailand in its final year. This model with the cross on the hood was issued between 1980 and 1984 and came with dark blue or light blue windows which also incorporated the beacon. The ambulance has seen quite some action in its life, the paint is flaking, the windows are scratched and the beacon is scarred. A nice little model for restoration, so let's get out the tools and get to work. The model is held by one rivet in the front and a lip in the back. I drill out the rivet and the model comes apart. We have the bottom plate with the U-form suspension spring, the two plastic doors which are quite often missing on these models, the white interior and the window piece with the beacon. The suspension just clips loose to remove the wheels. The axles look to be in great shape, but the suspension has bent upwards over the years. The bottom plate is of a darker and duller material than most other majorette bottom plates. It almost looks like brass. Was it a choice made at the factory according to available materials, or a mistake in the alloy? If you know more, please leave your opinion in the comments. On closer inspection the patient in the back is quite detailed, especially if you compare him to the steering wheel which is a mere disc. Since the patient can't be taken out you never get to see these details. The paint is gone and I wire brush the body to prepare it for painting. I also wire brush the bottom plate. Then I drill a 1.5 meter pilot hole in the rivet post and I tap a 2mm screw thread and fix the screw. I prime the body with AK Interactive White Primer. Then it is sprayed with Motip High Gloss White. When the paint has cured, I attach the decal with the red cross. There are no third party decals for major red models, so I had to make this myself using vector software and a color laser printer. At this point, I would like to give a friendly shout out to Olivier Daniel, who subscribed on my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thanks for your support. This helps me a lot to make new and better videos. The red cross for this ambulance will be available on my Buy Me a Coffee and my Kofi pages next week. Finally the paint job is sealed with Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish. The interior and the doors are cleaned with a toothbrush and window cleaning liquid. Some stubborn spots in the doors are removed with a magic eraser. There is some slight yellowing on the plastic parts, but not as bad that it needs retro brighting. The dull axles and the suspension spring are polished with the wire brush to bring back their shine and the wheel hubs are touched up with Molotov Chrome.
I polish the window unit with polishing compound for car headlights. The beacon is roughed up and I give it a new coat of Tamiya transparent blue to hide the bruised spots. When the clear coat has hardened, it's time to reassemble the model. First I attach the wheels and axles back to the bottom plate. The suspension spring is bent upwards over time, so I attach it upside down. That way it will push the wheels downwards again. Then I drop in the polished window piece with the painted beacon, the clean interior and the two doors which are held in place in the holes of the interior. Finally I can attach the bottom plate and close up the model. Let's have a look at what we started out with. This Jeep Cherokee ambulance was pretty play-worn, with flaking paint, a sag suspension, scuffed windows and beacon, and it was overall dirty and in dire need of a refresh. And this is the model after restoration with a brand new coat of paint, a new cross decal, cleaned and polished windows and interior, and a refreshed beacon. I reversed the bent suspension so that it pushes down on the axles again, lifting the body like it should. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.